Hi plant mommies and plant daddies. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be planting our auto flowers for our next run. The soil recipe I'm going to be using today is based heavily on the Cali Green Super Soil Mix. Um, I'll link his YouTube in the description bar but I've always had success when using this mix. I had to change a couple of the ingredients because of what I had available to me but he really is an excellent grower and you should go check him out. I'm going to add in earthworm castings about 25% I eyeball it. Perlite. Now Ocean Forest already has perlite in the mixture but I add more because I added earthworm castings that made my soil a lot more dense. For my amendments I'm using Flower Girl by Dr. Earth, Azomite, Fishbone Meal, and I'm adding extra mycorrhizae. You do not need to add extra mycorrhizae. It's already inside of the ocean forest. I add it because I want to enhance the root development and the nutrient uptake in these ladies. Once we're done mixing up our soil, we're gonna add it to our five gallon pots. Um, I think five gallons is the perfect size for autoflowers. I just feel like it gives it enough space for the root development of the full grow. You can try to use, I've used three gallon pots, but I really think five gallon is the sweet spot. I use fabric pots whenever I'm growing, but use whatever you have available. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy exactly what I have. And if you noticed when I'm filling my pot, I'm not packing it down. I'm not trying to make a really compact soil. I want it to be light and fluffy so that our seedling doesn't have trouble when it's germinating reaching the surface. We want it to just pop through with ease. We don't want it fighting to get to the light. I'm going to be growing three different strains for this run. I like to do more than one strain usually with my autoflowers just because they're, they don't take long to grow and it's fun to see how three different plants respond in the same environment. This step is completely optional. You do not need this. I am only using this because um, I feel like it helps my seeds germinate a bit better, but they will germinate without that. So don't run out and buy that. You do not need it. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of the extra mycorrhizae right into the hole and I only put the seed maybe about a fingernail into the soil. I don't plant it deep because I, like I said, I don't want it to fight to get to the surface. I'm just gonna lightly cover the seed and give it a quick spritz with my water bottle. Inside of it, I have a little bit of liquid seaweed and water pH to 6.8. I'm gonna spray my lid just to bring up that humidity as high as possible underneath that dome. And I'm gonna repeat these steps for my next two. Now that our girls are planted in their forever pots, 
we're just gonna turn our light down right now I have my Mars Hydro SP 3000 up at 100% I'm gonna turn it down to 75% I have it hanging pretty high up from the seeds but they don't need much light right now day two and we've made contact with the forum stomper these seeds germinated so quickly I can't even I can't even believe how quick they germinated but I'm very happy I'm just gonna give it a quick little spray we always want to make sure that top soil is wet we do not want our seedling or our roots our newly growing roots to dry out during this stage at all we've got germination from the glue but not the Girl Scout cookies now we'll give her a couple more hours but I don't I really don't like to wait around for my auto flowers if it's not acting right I will dig for the seed and replant I am not I can't waste time because these other two are going to continue growing and I like them to be like around the same age. Now we're checking on this one later on tonight and she must have heard what I said. I really think she heard what I said because she hurried up. She hurried up and germinated. Day three, and it's time to check on our girls. Looking beautiful. Look at that little baby. Now that I feel like they're more established, I'm not gonna be keeping the domes on them anymore. Today is the day that I take the dome off. So they broke through their little seed. I don't know if you can see, but the seed is laying on the soil next to the plant. They're out of their shell and they do not need the domes anymore. Look at how that Girl Scout cookie caught right up with the other ones. I was nervous, but she shocked me. I'm really looking forward to what she has in store. Now that I took off the humidity dome, it's a good time for me to turn on my humidifier. I like to keep the humidity quite high during this stage. Um, really throughout the whole vegetative stage, I want it to be around 70 because I like to grow my plants hot and humid. So this humidifier is actually from Amazon. It's from a brand called Govi. I'll link it in the description bar. It's cool because I can control it from my phone. Now I'm going to give the girls a quick spray with my seaweed extract mixture. I'm going to spray all around the plant and even on the plant. all for today we're gonna come back tomorrow and check on these girls day four and our soil has dried out today I'm gonna be adding in our cover crop I'm gonna use white clover now this is good because it helps your soil to retain moisture especially the top soil and it also picks up nitrogen from the surroundings and gives it to your soil and your soil gives it to your plant so a cover crop is always ideal when using organics especially since I'm not going to be top dressing if you were top dressing I would not suggest using a cover crop because you it's difficult to work the top dress in I'm just lightly sprinkling after I wet the soil I want the seeds to have something to stick to I'm going to 
spray over top of all those seeds just because when I do water in I don't want them to run off into one place I want them to kind of stay where I sprinkled them now I'm just watering with seaweed extract and water pH to 6.8 you do not need seaweed extract it is good for your plant it is good for the microbes in the soil but you don't need it you can just use water I'm just going to repeat these steps for the next two ladies and this concludes how I start my auto flowers this was a beginner's guide so if you know a bit more just ignore some of the information that you find irrelevant if you found this video helpful hit the like button please subscribe and follow me on Instagram Thank you for watching.